The last one is elimination. Now all the drugs need to get eliminated because they are xenobiotic. And the major eliminating organ is kidney. In human being, these things will get eliminated through the kidney. Now when you see elimination, you have two different major pathways out there. Now how the way they are getting eliminated, it could be zero order kinetics or it could be first order kinetics. Let us understand what you mean by zero order and first order kinetics. Take about this one. Let's say you have eight mg of drug is there. After certain amount of time, it is becoming seven mg. After certain amount of time, it is becoming six mg like this. What is happening here? One mg is getting eliminated. So constant amount is getting eliminated. It is called as zero order kinetics. So elimination is not depend upon initial amount. If it is six, if it is eight mg or six mg, constant amount will get eliminated. Only one mg will get eliminated. But constant amount elimination is called as zero order kinetics. Whereas in case of first order kinetics, see what happens. If someone has taken eight mg of drug, it becomes after a particular period of time four mg. After that, it becomes two mg. What is happening? A constant fraction, fifty percent, is getting eliminated. Again, fifty percent is getting eliminated. So you have constant amount getting eliminated. You have constant fraction is getting eliminated. Constant fraction is known as first order kinetics. Majority of drugs follow this first order kinetics. What is the rational behind this? When a drug is eliminated by this first order kinetics, the constant fraction is getting eliminated. So initial drug concentration will determine how much amount is getting eliminated. If you have hundred mg here, so at, at first time, a fifty mg will get eliminated because constant fraction. This one, no. Initial amount will not determine how much amount is getting eliminated because it is only constant amount. It is not fraction. So again, remember, majority of drugs follow first order kinetics. What is the use of this? If you use higher amount of drugs. Higher elimination will be there. This is what happens with elimination. Now, getting back to the real concept, elimination majorly happens from kidney. From the kidney, all the blood gets into glomerular apparatus. There, from the blood, drugs will come there. They will get secreted into tubule. From the tubule, because of metabolism, they are already become water soluble. Combines with water, goes out of the body. Now, here comes one more concept. See, while reading about absorption, I told you. Polar molecule will get absorbed. Non-polar molecule will not get absorbed. Right? In case of elimination, polar molecule will be excreted out of the body because polar means they are generating charge. If something is generating charge, it will be easily miscible in water because water has got polar nature. It dissolves like molecules, like polar molecules. All of them will get dissolved in water, and from that water, they will be eliminated out of the body. Now this thing can be used to increase elimination of particular classes of drugs. Because of these factors, you have drugs like urinary alkalization and urinary acidification. Understand this? Thing. Urinary acidification. Now let's say you have taken basic drugs. See, most of the drugs has got an amine group, so they may take up a proton and become alkaline group. Now, if you want to increase the elimination of basic drugs, imagine you have an amine drug is there. Now, if you do urinary acidification in the urine, if you increase the acid molecules, the acid will combine with base, and what happens? It is turned into ionized form. If it is an ionized form, elimination will become easier. So, what is the logic? Urinary acidification enables basic drug elimination because basic drugs in presence of acid will get converted to Ionic form, ionic drugs will get eliminated. You know vitamin C, vitamin C, cranberry juice. These are very popular acidifiers. You know lemon water is supposed to to do good thing through our human body because of this fact. When people take continuously lemon water, it causes urinary acidification. Most of the meat food drugs they are in basic in nature. When urine is alkalized because of vitamin C. All the basic drugs turn into ionic form, and these ionic form drugs will get easily excreted out of the body. So this is the logic behind urinary acidification. Now some drugs are acidic nature also. In that cases, you need to do urinary alkalinization. Now imagine you have acid in there, R two O. Now when you when you increase the basicity of the urine, 
the base will abstract this proton and you have ion and this ion goes out of the body easily. So acidic trails will be removed from the body due to urinary alkalization. You know, sodium bicarbonate and acetazolamide. Acetazolamide is a drug which belongs to diuretic category, carbonic and hydrogen. When people take acetazolamide, it increases urinary pH. Increasing urinary pH means converting into basic pH. And at that basic pH, all the acidic drugs will go out of the body. If someone has taken too much of aspirin, it still salicylic acid. If you want to increase the elimination of the drug, convert, do this, urinary alkalization, do it, and the drug will go out of the body. In case of basic drugs, urinary acidification will enhance elimination of that particular drug. So in elimination, these things need to be taken care of. One, the ionized drug will get eliminated easily. Second one, urinary acidification alkalization will enhance in, in case of urinary acidification, the basic drugs will get eliminated easily. In case of urinary alkalization, acidic drugs will get eliminated easily. So these things are there with elimination. Uh, one more thing. As I told you already, the nephron job is to remove all the unnecessary metabolites from the body. At the same time, it will try to reabsorb what is required for the body. Water as well as electrolytes. This reabsorption will be hindered by metabolism. So metabolism will, con will increase the hydrophilicity so that the drug will be going down. Whereas reabsorption is hindered because in phase two, large groups are attached. Leaving that urinary elimination again, the major route of elimination is kidney through the water elimination. Because of this thing, the metabolism will convert all the molecules into hydrophilic. So this is about 